Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn different ways of how we can see output of the JavaScript. For beginners, it might be quite uh, confusing because they'll see different ways of how to see output with so much going on. I'll try and keep it simple. I'll, I will also touch base on the developer tools today uh, to help you debug, to help you see that output better. Let's get started. This is part three of the episode. If you are absolute beginner, you don't want to miss out on the first two parts where I've covered the introduction and how to insert JavaScript into HTML file. Following is the complete playlist that I'm recording for you. So far, I have 43 episodes in line. I'll keep adding as we progress. All right, so today we are learning how to see JavaScript output. JavaScript output is visible on the elements inside the HTML pages. Okay, so anything we do in JavaScript, we try to either change the element or manipulate the DOM, etc. So basically, to see the output, you will do something in the web page. All right, now there are different ways of how you can display data in the web page. There are simple ways like you can use inner HTML method, you can use document.write, you can use window.alert. And if you noticed in the last episode, I introduced you to a, con a concept of browser console. Today we'll touch base, do some hands-on and I'll show you different variations of it. Okay, so take it step by step, even if you are not following few things here, that's okay because as we progress, it would be more clear. All right. Important thing is to stay with me what I'm following and just try and type that code and see for yourself if that helps. All right. That, let's get started with hands on. In the last episode, we created this basic file. We learned how to insert JavaScript, which is through internal script and with external script. Today, I'm going to write, going to explain this console.log that we wrote. So you can use console which is nothing but available in your browser okay so if you open the file and we are in index.html so let's open that and you will do a right click and you will see an option inspect i'm using google chrome all right use google chrome that would be my recommendation to you click on inspect and you would see this window come up all right now this window is nothing but called developer tools okay this is called developer tools it has a lot of things that we can use to debug to improve the performance and out to see output as well for some when you open this like i mentioned it can be here in the bottom that's also fine based on the position you can always have a new window open up like this this is also fine but again, that depends upon the preference. So for this tutorial, I'm keeping it side by side so you can see the option, All right? So you'll see a few tabs, elements, console, sources, network performance. Let's refresh this page and you are seeing some messages because we are in console. So when you click console, you'll see all the messages, logging, warnings, etc. That's no number one way to see output. So if you want to add you can use the console which is nothing but the JavaScript console now yeah, there are different methods you to use to log the messages let's say warning state okay warning state <coughs> refresh the page and you are seeing a warning state see the yellow color highlighted so it will help you better debug that's one way to see output there is also console log error now error message now you can see it shows error message right last in this way is console dot info this is for information okay so this is for information just like login all right console dot log so this is one way of how you can see the output of JavaScript, which is through console messages. These are really helpful for you, in, especially when you are developing complex applications. You will need to debug, you will need to see real time what data is captured, etc. So console log is your best friend. 
Number two, um, you can use window dot alert. That's not encouraged in modern times because you know um, it kind of is not a good experience. Okay, this is an alert. So what it comes, it will come up with a small window on the web page like this. Okay. 99% try and avoid such uh, things because if JavaScript is disabled or something happens, it's not really a good experience to block the page. But in some cases, you will need to have such thing to block the web page. If you see here, it is still spinning because the execution has stopped. Okay. So window.alert will bring up a small model window and stop the execution. See here, it is still showing loading. Right. So this is another way that you can display output to the user through alert message. All right. That is window dot alert. There are other things like inner HTML, uh, inner text. Right. Uh, there are other options. These are mostly with the DOM manipulation. Now, what is DOM? Right. And how do you use that? We'll cover it as we progress. Don't rush into too many things today. Okay. One last thing I'll show you is the document object for JavaScript. Any HTML page is nothing but a document. Okay, right. So think of it this way. Any HTML page for JavaScript is a document. So when you say document dot write, this is from document dot write. Now see what happens when I refresh, it will give alert. And then it has written the code, written the output into the document because this entire page right now is a document, right? So you can use document dot write to write into the web page. Again, not recommended. Okay, window dot alert not recommended. There are better ways to handle and have the user experience, but you should know that these are some of the options that are available. Okay. So what are we learning? We learned that we can use console to write and log our messages. We can use window dot alert to show an alert message. We can use document dot write to write to a document. There are things like inner HTML, inner text and DOM manipulation. We will come to it at a later stage in the series for today know about these methods of how you can see an output. I also showed you, you can right click, inspect and view the messages in the console. This is the most recommended way to debug, to improve performance while developing. I hope this is clear and now you're confident of how to see the uh, output. If you want to see the source code, you can also right click, view page source, and click on your scripts.js you can see the complete javascript source code you can see here also so javascript is running in your browser that's why you are seeing the output in the browser as view source you can see view source of any web page that's available without minified i hope this uh, concepts are clear now in the next uh, episode i will be covering javascript statements I'm starting from basic to advanced, so I'll cover everything thinking that you're absolutely naive and beginner. That way it will help me set the context correct. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you are enjoying and learning from this series. Please do show me some love. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.